in the time that I grew up in, it was said of old time that music soothed the savage beast. But in this time period that we now live, music enhances the savage beast. It entices the savage beast. It activates the savage beast within you. I want to quickly comment on Travis Scott and this stampede that took place in Houston, Texas. Now, when it comes to modern day rap music, I don't listen to it. The energy, the spirit of it is satanic, it's evil. And it does not agree with my spirit. There are certain YouTube videos that I could click on to watch because the topic, the headlines may seem interesting. But the minute I click on that video, the video starts out with just annoying rap music. I immediately click off of that because number one, I can't relate to it. My spirit cannot relate to that because it's evil. If you look at not only the lyrics, but if you look at the results of listening to what they now call rap music or even mumble rap. And then look at the effects that it have on today's children. It's evil. We're living in times where children, for the most part, especially in the so-called black community, we're living in a time where they are disobedient to adults, to their own parents, and to each other. It's like they have a thirst for blood. They have a thirst for violence. But these are the times that we're now living in. I want to play an audio of a young man that was at this performance. And he's giving his account on what happened. I want you to listen to the words of this young man. And then I'll briefly speak on it. Listen to what he has to say. It just felt like we was like literally like in fucking hell, bro. Like it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see. Like just imagine all the people they're going to find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out. And everybody was just trumbling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like I'm thinking it's probably going to be like at least 100 people who dead tonight. Like I kid you not. Like. In the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainting. And the people were trying to medicine, trying to get them CPR. And they was flipping them over. And like, they was literally turning them black and blue. Like, I never seen no, I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably like 10 fucking people laid out dead. And like, once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could do. Like this shit, like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight. Like that was like some demonic shit. Like and what was so crazy, like people were screaming help, trying to tell Travis Travis Scott. It was like help. The whole crowd was just going like help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. It was like this shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. And mind you, y'all see the type of music I make. Y'all see everything. Like you know, like I've been so heavily influenced by Travis, but like after tonight, bro, like. God really showed me, like, you know, like, stay away from that shit, bro. Like, that shit not for you. Because, like, he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight, like, for real. Like, so many people's lives are gone tonight because they want to go to a fucking Travis Scott concert and have fun. You know, he influenced people to be raging and all this shit. So many people broke in, and it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. Imagine seeing all those dead bodies, and that was, that was just by me. He said that this rapper was influencing them to be wild. 
Think about the words that this young man used. He said it's like hell. He gave a description as if it was hellish. They were actually living on demon time. They were existing in demon time. Although it happened in this realm of existing here on earth. They entered into a spirit realm that costs more than the last number I heard was 11 that lost their lives and over 300 was injured. But they actually entered into a demonic realm for a brief moment, which more than likely seemed like it was forever. My two sons, when they were growing up, I never allowed them to go to a rap concert because being a parent and living as long as I lived on this planet, we learn things, we experience things throughout life and we try to pass that information, that wisdom on to our children. But in many cases, your child will not listen to what you say. They will not heed to the wisdom that you give them. Although you know as a parent that it will save their lives one day. So I never allowed my son to go to a concert, to a rap concert, because I know that this music, if you want to call it music, is not the same hip hop of yesterday. The energy is not the same. The rhythm is not the same. The lyrics are definitely not the same. R&B don't even exist anymore. See, so music soothes the savage beast but when it comes to modern day rap music it's not even hip hop it enhances the savage beast in you it entices the savage beast in you it activates and even creates the savage beast in you mainly in your child the young man also mentioned that this was a sacrifice. And it was. Look at the lives that were sacrificed just to attend a demonic concert. Now, a lot of y'all may not view it as demonic, but it took this young man to go through that, to experience that, and to see the reaction and results of that. And he referred to it as demonic. And it scared him. Because he's never seen or witnessed a dead body. So. When it comes to this whole Travis Scott thing. I'm not really familiar with Travis Scott. I heard of him. But all of this so-called rap music and mumble music. I don't listen to it. Because it's on an entirely different frequency. It's on a frequency that can only communicate to the demonic realm. So it's unfortunate that these young people lost their lives. And look at the ages, 14, 16, 21, 23, 27. These are the ages of the young people that were taken out. Because they attended a rap concert. So be careful what you allow your child to listen to. Be careful to what you allow them to take into their mental Rolodex. I know you want them to be free in their thinking, to make choices and decisions for themselves. I know and completely understand that they will encounter these things anyway in life. And you have so many parents that feel that they prepare their child 
by allowing them to experience that at an early age. The only thing you're doing is helping them to become numb to these things. Whereas when you look at a parent that was strict in raising their child in spite of what society says, that child will grow up to be productive in most cases. But they would also become a square when it comes to violence and negativity. They would become a virgin to darkness. And when they become mature, then they're able to make choices and decisions for themselves. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, they won't depart from it. In other words, that home teaching and schooling would always remain with them. Although many will make wrong choices for themselves, for their lives, and for the lives of their families. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time.